Hi guys and welcome back to video number three on how to get started with digital planning. Today we will be making this little sticker here or widget rather because I even included a drop shadow and you will learn how to make this using the app Vectornator. So I'm gonna go straight into Vectornator. This is your main screen where you have all of the projects that you can be working on at the moment. And to create a new project, we're gonna tap on this top right corner on the plus sign. And then the size doesn't really matter because we just want the sticker. But you can go and create a custom size. Now, I usually just leave the size that is suggested here, but you can select a particular size in inches. And if you wanna do that, you just tap where it says inches and then it turns forms the same measurements but in inches and you can use points millimeters centimeters pixels etc and then you click on create and this is a brand new document with nothing on it so we are going to be basically using circles to create this flower and to do that I'm going to use my shapes uh, tool which is here on the left here you have a bunch of tools that we're gonna be using most of the time and before the last icon that's a square but that means that this is shapes so if i tap there again this little shape menu will pop as you can see i have square pentagon oval etc and this time i want a circle so i'm going to click on the circle or oval and now when i tap and drag with my pencil i will be able to draw a circle now to go a step backward in this app, you can click on this X here at the top left and then your menu will show and then you can click on the back arrow to step back. So I want my circle to be a perfect circle because if I just draw as, as it is or me trying to create a circle, it's going to be hard for the circle to be, you know, perfect. So what you can do is once you're dragging your corner of the circle, you can put your second finger down and that's going to create a perfect circle. So let me actually get rid of all of these to show you again. To get rid of all the shapes, you can select the a shape by going to this first arrow here first, then tapping on a shape and that's going to select it. Once a shape is selected, you can click on the little trash icon at the top here and get rid of it. Okay. So I'm going to draw again just to show you. So tap and drag, push my second finger down, and then the circle became perfect. Okay? And I want my circle to be smaller, maybe there. And again, if I want to move the shape that I have created around, I have to go back and select my arrow, because if I keep doing that with my circle shape selected, I'm just going to keep creating circles. Okay? So step backward. There we go. So I have my one circle, and actually I think it needs to be smaller, so again I just drag one corner, push my second finger down, it's gonna be a perfect circle. Now to change the color of this shape, here you have a purple color, that means that this is the color that's currently selected, you can tap there, and then with this little slider, remember to the left top it goes to all the way white, then bottom left is all the way with no light, which means black. And then to the right, at the top right, you have, you know, light and color. So you can play with this uh, slider to choose the, the brightness. And then this other slider is going to choose which color you're playing with. So right now I'm looking for a yellow color because this is going to be the center of my flower, maybe something like that. And this third slider is just the opacity. So if you want to make your shape a little more transparent, you would move this to the left and with more color to the right. I usually don't mess with this because I don't want my sticker to be transparent at all. So I just leave this slider all the way to the right. Another thing that I want my shape to have is a little outline that is actually going to be darker. So I'm going to move this menu down by just dragging this line to the bottom. And then here where it says stroke, as you can see, it's invisible. This background here with the little like checkered background like gray and white uh, squares means that it's transparent, there's nothing on it. And so when you see that on either the stroke or shadow, it means that there's no stroke and no shadow. It's invisible, right? So I'm gonna tap there and you can select a color for your outline. And in this case, I just want like a darker yellow. So again, I can use my slider and I can see in real time like what I'm doing, the colors I'm choosing. So I just want it to stand out a little bit, maybe over there. Close this menu again. 
And the next thing I want to do is control the width. As you can see, it says here stroke width, and this is a little too thick. So I'm going to go down to maybe, let's see, a 5. That's too um, thin, so maybe an 8 or a 12 around. I think that's good so you can see it, but it's not too huge. All right, so this is going to be the center of my flower. Now I want to create the petals. And to do that, I'm actually just going to make copies of this circle because my petals will also have a color, an outline, and will also be in a circular shape. So I might as well just copy this one. So I'm just going to tap on it, having my first arrow selected here with the left menu. And then at the top here, you can click on this copy icon. And then you go to the icon right next to it, click there, and it's going to paste the copy that you just made. So as you can see, now we have two copies. And then I can make this one a little bit smaller. So again, drag this dot and using my second finger to make sure that the circle is perfect. And then I can arrange it where I need it. And I'm going to adjust the color. So again, to go towards this fill here where the yellow is selected. This time I want my petal to be some purple, maybe there. And I also want to change the stroke color. So move my slider to the right to go to purple. I just want the outline to again look a little bit darker than the inside color, something like that, okay? And I can keep adjusting the location of my petal. Actually, I think it needs to be a little bit bigger. You can play around with this until you find the perfect shape that you want. All right, now I need to make a copy of this purple circle, this exact same one. I'm not going to modify it anymore, so just go to my copy icon, paste icon, and then you have this second copy. And the next thing I'm going to do is select all these three shapes, so one, two, three circles, okay? Bring them back, because I want to align them in the center. So having this arrow selected again i'm gonna deselect everything and then just tap and drag anywhere on the screen so that you can draw a selection touching all three shapes and that's going to select them all at the same time and now i'm gonna go to my arrange menu which is this second icon at the top here on the right side you tap there and then here you have your align options so i want them to be centered in the middle that's gonna be this icon great now I'm going to make two more copies because I want the petals to also be on the sides. Now to select just two shapes and not all of them because using the method of dragging my selection I will not be able to select these two purple shapes only because the yellow one gets in the way, right? So you have the option next to your arrow here where you have this first icon with a check mark. If you tap there you will be able to touch on one item two items and then just select those two items when you're done you know selecting you just tap on that icon again and then you have just selected the two items so that option is really helpful because now i can go copy and paste those two petals and now check this out i'm just going to rotate them 90 degrees and that's going to place them exactly on my horizontal line so i'm going to tap here and then go to 90 and there we go, I have them horizontally and now my drawing is looking more like a flower. Now, the only issue is that I want this center to be on top of the petals. I don't like it that much right now, it doesn't really look like a flower. So I'm just gonna tap on my center and then to bring this layer all the way to the top, I'm actually gonna go to my layers menu, which is the fourth icon at the top right here. You tap there and now you will be able to see this first layer and if you open this layer then you see all of the elements placed on the document and really these elements although it says layer one these are all like layers on their own as you can see the yellow one is like all the way at the bottom so you have all these other petals at the top and i want to just drag it up so that it shows right in the beginning there we go now my petal is on the top now you can manually make copies of these petals, so copy, paste, and move it around to complete the space of the flower that does not have petals. You don't have to copy every time, you can just keep on clicking on paste, and this is just going to be creating copies because you have the first circle copied. Now I'll tap on my center again, and I just want to bring it up again, like that. Okay, so that to me looks more like a flower. Now, the last step we are going to do is we are going to add a shadow because I'm going to show you my planner. You know, I have my desk area where I use my, um, my cover and my widgets and such. 
and I don't have any widgets to show you right now but as you can see my cover has a drop shadow and so those this other flower that I created in the past so I'm actually going to move this aside somewhere here so that I have room for my brand new flower but I want to add a drop shadow so go back to Vectornator now we are going to select the whole thing so just use your arrow and draw a selection touching all of the circles and then you go to your format menu here which is the first one close this and then at the bottom here it says shadow again this is invisible so just tap on it and then I want my shadow to be black now what happened here is that all of the items individually are having a shadow now and that doesn't work because I want the flower to work like as a one single image so to fix that I'm actually going to step back because I want to get rid of the shadow that I just created let me fix this petal a little bit and now select all of these petals but now I have to group them I forgot that step so you go back to your arrange menu which should be this second one here and then group where it says group you just tap there and now you have a single group so when I go back to my format menu I should be able to add a shadow just to the whole shape not all the individual pieces that make the the sticker or the flower now you can close this and then down here you will be able to select the blur so I have I don't know like five this option is going to start blurring out the shadow so it doesn't look so harsh and it looks more realistic so you can go to maybe a 10 and as you can see that really made it um, you know blurred so it looks better and you can also choose how far you want the shadow to be so it says 6.75 right now let's try a 10 that's a little too much maybe 8 that's better okay and you can also choose the angle of the shadow and I don't really pay too much attention to this for example if on my planner my shadows are like with the light hitting from different directions it's not completely accurate but I don't really mind and in this sticker as you can see I chose an angle that must have been maybe like right from the top the light would be coming from here because you can see the shade on like all the sides you can have your own you know choice but I'm just gonna move this to let's play around with this uh, slider I guess that could work and I can even offset it maybe a little more offset it here and then let me just go see the angle again and now it seems like too dark for me and don't forget that you can always change the color so if it's like too harsh too black you can make it a little bit more gray like this and soften it a little bit okay so our sticker is done and what we are going to do next is just select it so you can just use your first arrow on the menu here on the left tap on it and then remember you can copy using this icon so tap on that icon and nothing happened but when you go back to your planner you will be able to tap and hold and click on paste so whoops what happened here is that my shadow I made it gray I didn't think of it but the background of my planner is also gray so I will not be able to see the shadow unless I place this on a different color background so I'm just gonna quickly fix that I'm gonna go back to Vectornator touch on my shape and let's go to the shadow option so this is the color and I'm just gonna turn to black obviously it looks dark right now because the background here is transparent but on my planner it is gray so this should look fine there so I'm just gonna select it copy and go back to my planner tap and hold click on paste and there I have my brand new sticker so that's it for this video guys this is like a small intro on how to create digital stickers on your iPad let me know below if you'd be interested in me creating an actual class where I can show you more tools on how to create different shapes maybe more complicated shapes using the app Vectornator if you like this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to leave any suggestions that you have in the comment below I really read every single comment and I'm looking for ideas on what to film next and what to add to this uh, series teaching you how to get started with digital planning and how to do cool things on your iPad and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and turn on those notifications so you know when there's a new video coming thank you so much and see you in my next video bye bye